the executive governor of Zamfara State, Dawda Lawal, when he declared uh, an emergency in the area of education. I declare a set of emergency on education in Zamfara State. The neglected education system in Zamfara affects all level from primary to tertiary institutions. Uh, the government is very serious about education and that was why when the initial effort to ensure total rehabilitation, renovation of uh, schools in the state in order to ensure the delivery of quality education, uh, the government took people around to see how the schools were before the commencement of the construction as well as the renovation or rehabilitation of schools. Now that the work is in progress, because this is still work in progress, the activities have not been completed. So you can see that this is how far we have gone on this uh, uh, wholesome uh, rehabilitation of schools in the forest state. And uh, based on this, we hope to ensure that by the end of the holidays, most of the schools most have, that have been earmarked for renovation and uh, most of the classes that have been earmarked for construction must have been completed and we will come and take you around so that you see for yourselves that this is exactly what the government means and that it means business in its effort to ensure uh, education is given the right attention that it deserves. The initial uh, 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 numbers that we gave we give about 250 schools that have been, how, so, how far, so far we have increased the number. So about 325 schools are to either going to be constructed, renovated, rehabilitated. They are going to be given total uh, first lift to ensure that the conducive atmosphere is given for students to learn qualitatively. I'm, I'm very much satisfied if you consider when was it that the work started just about last month or so. And now see, some of the contractors have already almost finished their work and they are about to hand over. You can see some of the classrooms have been locked because they have not handed over yet, but they are about to hand over to the government. So you see, I'm very much satisfied with the pace of work and how things are moving. And I believe we are working in tandem because what we want is by the time we go for holidays for the end of the second term, as we return, all students, all pupils, either in the primary or in the secondary school, will be in their classrooms because now what is remaining is for the furniture to be moved in so that once the furniture are in, the classes are ready for use and then the teachers and the students will enjoy the new system, the new government and the uh, dividend of democracy that we are talking about. So we have not even gone far with, with the, with the, in terms of amount of money. About 12.5 uh, billion naira has so far been uh, I mean, put into use. However, we are still, it's like I told you, it's an ongoing activity, it's an ongoing work. So as we continue to, to work, we continue to look at what we have done and then uh, compare and contrast what we are, we are spending. Does it commensurate with what we are getting? Because what we intend to do is to have value for money so that at least whatever we put in place will be useful, not only for t tomorrow or for next month or for next year, but for very many years to come. And well, that's why we are looking for quality in whatever work is being done. If you look at the girl child, some of the schools that we are moving into, that we are intervening into, they do not even have toilets. So where you have uh, girls around the school and there's no toilet for them to go and ease themselves, it becomes a very difficult situation and they find it difficult to come to school. But now that we are now giving in toilets and we are putting in water systems that will assist so that everybody there will be water. If you look at this school, there's, there's, look at there, there is a borehole that has been sunk in there. It will help the students to come to school and with now uh, with the schools that have been renovated, with furniture that's going to be provided, certainly schools will be very good and they will be conducive. And not only that, as we finished, even with the, uh, with, with the uh, infrastructure, books and other teaching materials will be, brought, will be brought in and so that everybody, the teachers, the pupils will enjoy learning and teaching will be very good and there will be quality education in the forest state, inshallah.